Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're taking a look at a brand new game called Warface Breakout. I was very lucky and the people that make this, my games, invited me to a remote playtest and capture session of the game on PS4 so I could check it out, play it on my own setup, record and get some good first impressions of it. So a huge thanks to them for that and also for sponsoring this video. What is this game? Well, Breakout is an online tactical team-based first-person shooter for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And one of the reasons that I was really interested to check this out and cover the game was that it's heavily inspired by one of my all-time favorite games and probably the game that I've played the most online, the one that I've got most hours in, and that game is Counter-Strike. As far as I'm aware, at the moment, there isn't a Counter-Strike style game on console solely focused on the classic attack and defend game mode. Obviously, you've got game modes in other games like Rainbow Six Siege and Call of Duty, which mimic it. But in terms of something being built from the ground up to just deliver that Counter-Strike experience, I can't think of any. And that's what Breakout is attempting to do and they see a gap in the market there with a whole load of console players who want to or have never had that experience there before. So Breakout functions in a very similar way to CS. Two teams, one attacks with a bomb and one defends. Simple, you know the score. The attacking team are called the Reapers and they can choose which bomb site to plant the bomb at and if they do so, the defenders known as the Wardens have to attempt to defuse the bomb before it explodes. And on top of all this is the layer of the economy system. At the start of a round, depending on if it's a pistol round or later on in the game, depending on how well you and your team have performed, you will receive credits. And with those credits, you can buy weapons and equipment at a varying costs for every round. And there's lots of guns here that you will recognize. The devs want to keep this grounded in a realistic future I suppose. So you've still got guns like AKs, M4s, MP5s, Deagles, etc. But also some more recent weapons in there too, like the Vector, for example, which is always one of my go-tos. As for the equipment, well, you guessed it. You've got head armor, Kevlar vest, smokes, nades, and flashbacks. The guns all handle quite differently to each other too, so there's definitely going to be a bit of a skill curve here, and team play will be required. There's more recoil on the heavier assault rifles, and this is a gunplay focused game, so that's really important. You do move a lot faster too with a smaller caliber weapon like an SMG or a pistol, and of course you get max run speed when you've got that knife out. Everybody knows you run faster with a knife. I'm just lucky though that I had aim assist here, otherwise I think I'd have been screwed. Outside of the game in the menus though, you're able to customize the scopes on your guns. And I did ask about this, and this is more of a personal preference as to what scope you like the best, rather than these actually changing the stats of the weapons. Perhaps that's the right call in terms of balance, especially when you've already got an economy system in place to control that. You can also customize your in-game avatar here too, changing the look of things like helmets and gloves, for example. Visually, as you can see, I think it's very clean and straightforward to emphasize the gameplay and allow for maximum visibility. It's quite a clean looking game. Although the devs did say they are running the game at 4K60 on an Xbox One X and PS4 Pro with HDR support on top too, if you've got a setup that can accommodate that. What about the price then? What's the barrier to entry here? Well, seeing as this is published by my games and along with the current market trends, I thought this would be a free to play title and I think it would succeed the most there, but this will actually be their first premium game at $20. There is no battle pass system in Breakout though, which is quite contrary to how many other shooters are doing it nowadays. And every season, players will receive free updates and progression, and that will be the same for everyone with challenges along the way and season exclusive rewards. So once you buy the game, if you want to, that's all you will pay for future content, apart from if you fancy any of the cosmetic only microtransactions. I had a look through the menus and there's certainly lots of skins to choose from here. You can even inspect them in game too. And from what I could tell, there's no pay to win elements at all. This is all straightforward, cosmetic only with no effect to gameplay and optional. And they did tell us that almost all of the cosmetic items can be obtained through gameplay. In terms of the gameplay, I think the developers have achieved what they obviously set out to do. 
this is Counter-Strike style gameplay for console players. There's no beating around the bush. It does what it says on the tin. If you don't have a PC, but have always wanted to experience that, then this could be an option for you. I will say though that the maps didn't feel as big as your typical CS map and the games and rounds were definitely quicker as less rounds were required to win a match. So here it's the first team to reach eight points rather than the first to reach 16. Also the bomb sites are a lot smaller and less complicated so I felt like there was less strategy in deciding on where to plant the bomb but this could be a purposeful decision to just keep things simple. And that's about all for today, guys. I wanted to say a big thanks once again to Warface Breakout for sponsoring the video today. Always cool to be invited to these kind of early capture events. And if you're interested in checking out the game for yourself, there is a link down in the description below that you can click on. Breakout is available now on PS4 and Xbox One via digital stores for $19.99. Also, do let me know what you think about the game down in the comments below too. Are there any console players out there that would be interested in this? Let's hear your opinion. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.